So we're talking computers. We're talking computers on episode 13 of Dads on Tech. We're actually talking about the HP TouchSmart 310. It's a little older. Yep. It's a little older. And I wouldn't apologize for that, but it's a little older. But um, it's a great box. Yeah. So, so let's, let's talk about check, it. Check it out. So we got the HP TouchSmart 310. Uh, what is it? It's basically a – what do they call these now? Unibody computers? They are an all-in-one. Right. All-in-one. So as a matter of fact, I'm recording this side of the podcast on that 310 because right? it's, a, it's a great, great piece of hardware. So let's go through some of the stats here first, right? So it's running Windows 7, 64-bit. Uh, has an AMD Ethelon 2 processor. Mm-hmm. It's 2. 0.8 gigahertz. Um, it has an ATI Radeon HD 420, 4, 4270 integrated graphics card, 640 gigs drive. Okay. Huge drive. That's respectable. So it has two gigs of RAM. Um, DVD drive, obviously, a wireless N, which is standard, um, wireless keyboard. And I think what is the top of the, the, the cream here is the fact that it's a 20 inch, <coughs> sorry about that, 20 inch. Uh, screen, which is uh, touch enabled. Yeah, which is which is one of the only, one of the few that are out there, right? There aren't very many touch enabled screens right now, as, yep. and especially and I, on an all in one. Yes, and that is the main reason, the main reason why I like this so much. And and my son grabs our iPad and he sits there, he goes through his games, his movies, uh, just you know, tapping away, having a great time. Mm-hmm. And it's real nice for him to come here and, and just sit on my lap or get on top of the chair and he'll, he'll launch Kidzooey by just tapping it and he'll start watching his movies and playing his games and so on and so forth. Um, so I really think that HP's done a really nice job with that. Uh, it's, it's these, the technology is wonderful. Yeah. I've never had a problem with it. It doesn't lag, it doesn't delay. There's no issues with whatsoever. <clears throat> the only issue I do have with it though is the fact that the, that, that virtual keyboard but not that great. Yeah. Not that great. It doesn't suck. It's just it, it's not that great. You know, it's just like I think that that virtual keyboard is good if you were like in a kiosk mode, right. if you were in a business and you wanted to you wanted your customers to use that that virtual keyboard. Um I use it a bunch of times cuz I forced myself to use it and I just really didn't like it. Right. Yeah, so I, I I'm a big I'm a big iMac fan and one of the reasons why other than the operating system but I'm a big iMac fan because the all-in-one solution is so much easier than having some clunky loud you know, piece of, of, of uh, technology sitting on the floor and then you've got an additional uh, uh, monitor plus all these wires going back and forth and this is just okay. all-in-one it's got a power cord everything yeah. else is wireless and mm-hmm. that's it yeah, that's it. Nothing else, man. It's really, and it has. I mean, I think it has like four, maybe five, or even six USB ports. It has, you know, the mini jack. It has um, an SD card reader. Um, it has a has a um, within the the uh, the bezel has a has a camera. Uh, I'm not using that camera right now. I'm actually using a Logitech camera. Um, so it's it's a really really nice piece of hardware. Um, I find it I find really hard. I find it really hard to actually find anything wrong with this thing. Right. I really do. I mean, for I think for the average person and even a business, I think this is a fairly good piece of piece of technology to pick up. And again, my only issue with this is just the fact that the, the virtual keyboard is just it's not very good. Right. Um, oh, and the bloatware. I mean, but that's a Windows yeah. thing, right? I mean, any manufacturer across All the OEM. board, whether it's HP, Dell, any any of the OEMs, they throw in so much you know stuff that you don't need to have on the PC. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Even the speakers are good. That's awesome. Even the speakers are good. I mean, you know, like, listen, you're not gonna you're not gonna crank out Mozart through these right, things, exactly. right, and enjoy it. But, but you know, if you want to listen to Adele or something like so that, so for like a dorm room, room or or a kid's room or, yeah, or just small office. Absolutely. absolutely, the speakers are good enough. Very, cool. they really are. All right, so good. So stuff. that 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 gives it. Four remotes. Four. Four remotes. Four remotes. Yeah, it's, again, it's a solid piece of hardware. I really can't find anything wrong with it. Um, just, just built well. All right, cool. So HP, okay. job well done. Touch smart. Keep pushing and innovating, and we'll see what happens with the uh, with the entire line and where we go next. There you go. As always, thanks for watching. Only cool people press subscribe. Right here.